foremost, welcome to the experience. I'm your host, Stephen the Dream, Voice City Carolinas, and this is this that and the third interview series. I want to give a huge shout out to Montiago Visual Studios for housing the interview. Huge shout out to Creative Eye Visuals, TZ LaFleur, TZ DaVinci behind the scenes, behind the camera. Got a very special guest with me today, man. Um, honestly, we, you know what I'm saying, I like the beats. I like, you know what I'm saying, I like the, the, the I like what's going on in hip hop right now. It sounds good. It really sounds good. But we got to get back to these bars. We got to get back to real rap. You really got to pay attention when you really listening to my dog here. King Quotes is in the building, man. Really coming to you with that real rap. What's good with you, my dog? I'm chilling, man. How you living? I'm blessed to be here. I'm, I'm going to tell you that. I'm yeah. blessed to be here. I'm blessed to know Let that. Let me hear that. Let me hear that. It's, it's still artists around that um, I ain't really got to, like, I ain't going to lie, bro. It's It's... Certain stuff, like I said, I said it at the show last time. I'm listening to what you got for the motivation. You right. know what I'm saying? I, I ain't going to compare you to nobody because you do your own thing. But um, it's certain times I put certain things on, and that's what I'm looking for in it. And you might not be making it per se for that, but I want to let you know that's what it's doing. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It might it might not be in the club all the time, but it's doing what it's supposed to do. Yeah, I mean, I already knew my music, the type of style I had wasn't going to be for the clubs, you know. But uh, how I wanted to step to the game, mm-hmm. like in the hip-hop, that's that was my lane I wanted to use. For sure. So that's how I came for it. You and doing it. to come hard. You doing it, and it's, it's, I'm sure it could be tough or it could be kind of different knowing, like, it don't sound like everybody else. Yeah. Like, it ain't, you know, you ain't going to turn it on and hit a push ice. You ain't going to hear all that and what you nah. got going on, but you're going to hear a message and you're going to hear real raw, real rap. Um, how how long you been doing this thing? What's What's been the origins? Take me back. What Man, we... shoot, I'm from Woodbridge, Virginia, brother. Um, two up, two down. You feel me? Virginia stand up. Uh, sure. Shoot, I've been listening to hip-hop and rap music all my life, man. And uh, I always felt like I had a talent for it. When I was younger, people used to tell me I can sing all the time and stuff like mm-hmm. that. And uh, my, I really love hip hop, R and B type stuff. Okay. So that's why I want my music to kind of like mirror. Nice. Yeah. Nice. But I've been writing for about a couple years now, so I got like shoe boxes or just like composition notebooks full of shit. You really get in that 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 uh, pen and pad. You really yeah. Down I with be that. really on the pen and pad a lot for real. I do freestyle. I mean, I don't like freestyle because I feel like you say anything just to keep the mm. flow going. You know what I'm saying? So I like to put some thought into my shit. That's an interesting interesting perspective because, yeah. you know, you really get to, like you said, when you put that thought into what you're saying, it can mean a lot more. Mm-hmm. Um, how long does it take How long does it take you to make a song? Now that, now that you got those things that's like, like you might come to the studio already, what's your sessions like? Do you knock out a couple tracks? Do you might put together like four bars and get away from it, or what's, what's your? Uh, I've been, uh, you know, I've been working with Melo, so I mean, sure. we do a lot of. I do a lot of different things. I like to try to like be creative in the studio. You know what I'm saying? So how I first started was, you know, I was like real routine with it. Like I need to have it done. I need to go in there, do my thing, mm-hmm. have it ready. You know, and I ain't got a lot of paper to you know push around with anyway. So, right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? So usually I can do like two songs in an hour, maybe three. Like the last session, I dropped down three songs in an hour. But um, shoot, if I had like some ends, we do two, three hours, shoot, probably like seven, eight songs if I really wanted to. What's your favorite part about being an artist so far? Uh, is it studio? Is it uh, the, the look, the clout? Like what do, what do you like getting out of being an artist? I like the atmosphere, bro. Like all the people around. Like when I come to the shows and stuff, I know the atmosphere is for the, they want to hear my boy Young Fifth or they want to hear mm. Cutthroat, mm. you know what I'm saying? Then I come on the thing and do my thing and it's different, melodic or slow, or just the tune is just different, everything mm-hmm. changes. Mm-hmm. And I want that effect on people, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I want to come on stage and be like, oh yeah, this nigga going to be. Right, right. And I think you you given that and I think is you know, I've seen you in a, in a couple of different rooms or even rooms when I haven't, haven't got the chance to see you in and they, people have told me like, Okay, cool. Like, they've asked me who you were. So it's, right. it's been good to know that you're making a statement. You're not from here. No. So you know that you coming here. Tell me what, 
Well, you grew up in VA too? Yeah, I grew up in VA. What was that? What was that like? You know? I mean, VA was. I mean, it was straight, man. VA is VA. I mean, you from you a Virginia boy yourself? I, well, I went to school. You I, went to school. I, I, I mean, I you was out there for a minute though. Definitely was out there doing my time at Emory and Henry and VA. Yeah. So I mean, like you know how Virginia. I mean, Emory and Henry is like um. It's a little I'm, different, I think. Were you yeah. like northern more? Yeah, I was like close to the DC area. I probably like. Okay. 20 minutes, 25 minutes. So yeah, my experience, my experience is a little little different there, but like music wise, like you got so many people that's come out of VA from Chris right. Brown, Missy, Timberland, Trey Song. Tra- you know what I'm saying? Like even having that lineage in that state, you know, is that those things that you could look to to have aspirations to want to be the best and to be the greatest cuz some of them are in yeah. that category. Yeah, most sure. definitely. I definitely want to represent for the state for sure. And, I, you know, how I wanted to come with it, you know, I didn't want to, like I said, I didn't want to come with the same thing that everybody doing. I wanted to come with my style and build my own type of thing. And maybe I can set my own type of trend. Mm. Your first song, what was it? What it was Ain't it? Easy. It Ain't Easy. That was it the first one. It Ain't Easy was the first song. Almost at 10K on SoundCloud. Shit, wait, wait, wait. So you came out shooting shooting bullets already. Yeah, that, I told you I stepped into the game hard, bro. That's how we had to come. We had to step. With with knowing that that's how it was, was that pressure on continuing to release and, and to do that, or is it now it's like I can do it, so you know I know I can do it again. It ain't it ain't no pressure now because you know you could do numbers if you got to. Yeah, like that's how it kind of was. Like it was funny. It's a funny story. I was literally I was about to go to sleep to go to work in the next morning, and I was playing beats in the crib. The beat came on. I was like, man, this is cold. And mm-hmm. I had the thing in my phone just typing. I don't even remember when I fell asleep, but when I woke up, the shit was typed in my phone. Yeah, the whole joint, yeah. Already there, everything, and I just, I don't know what it was, it was like subconscious, like I just I knew how everything was supposed to go as soon as I stepped in the stew. Recited it to my homeboy, he was like, nigga, we laying this shit today. Mm-hmm. We went in there, laid that shit, did some research, put that shit out, and there it was. And it went up. And then it was up from there. It took me a while, I dropped some more songs before it actually hit, like, it ain't close. It's too close to 10k. It's like nine something right yeah, now. It's moving, but yeah. it's but that's what that's your that's your most streaming song. I'm assuming. Yeah, and, and that's on SoundCloud. Yeah, and that's on SoundCloud. So interesting. Yeah, that's it ain't your favorite easy. song. Oh shoot! Right now, I got so much songs in the locker. That was one. Yeah, I got some. You know, the album coming out at the end of right. the month. Right. Right. So we trying to get it together. What's been the process of getting it together? Have you come over? Have you come across any like barriers or like stuff that? You know, whether it was mixes, studio time, like anything that's done come across that might have hindered the album or might have, you know, you had to come over, overcome. Um, I mean, shoot, I knew this shit wasn't going to be easy, bro. Like, really what it was, like, I didn't really, you know, I'm new to this, so I'm not really familiar with, like, how the hip-hop game is. But mm-hmm. really, in reality, man, for all the rappers who want to start up, you really got to put your money where your mouth is, for that's real. Right. You got right. it. Like, if you feel like you got it, and you want to showcase it and you want to show it, you got to you gotta invest in yourself. And that's what I've been doing lately. Um, I wish I could have did it earlier, and I wish I would have knew, but now I'm investing in myself. I don't really have a brand. I just want everybody to hear my music so we can get it out. Who are some influences that King Quotes have? And, and it don't have to be people we know. Like, it might be, you know, somebody from early on, uncle, you know what I'm saying, or a rapper. Like, who are the people that you look to in the music thing or... And it might even, not even their career per se, but just the music you like or made you want to continue to do this. Um, shoot, man. Like, to be honest, my favorite artist is like Mary J. Blige. Ooh. So like, I listen to her every day. For real? Like, yeah, every day I can listen That's to Mary hard. J. Every day. That's hard. And like the way she make music and the, like the way she has come up over time, mm-hmm. like even from back in the day when I was like a child, like I used to hear her stuff. My mom used to play it. And then over time, it was like, it never got old. Like, everything she dropped was, like, consistent with time. You feel me? So and everything was a hit. She always hit numbers. So I was just like, and the way she did hip-hop was kind of like my way of how I want to do hip-hop. So it was just like, I fuck with that. Yeah, she she definitely was out, out the box with it, fire with it. And how that type, I've never heard, I ain't never heard nobody come up here and say Mary, I believe. Yeah, Mary J, man, she's fire. Next would be, like, Lauren Hill or something. Yeah. Yeah, and I can hear that in the music though. I could yeah. tell you, you, you know, of course, some people that you were gonna say gotta be actual lyricists. But are there those times when you in the studio or you, you know, you might be listening to the radio and you say like, ah, oh, forget it. I'm gonna make the song that just say, 
A B A B and just I you mean that you know? I have recordings of myself doing some stuff like that. Okay, like, okay, yeah, you know what I'm saying. But like I said, the content that I want to put out, I want people to be able like. My mom likes to be able to, like, she always tells me when we listen to music, like, newer stuff, she'd be like, I don't understand no, nothing nobody's saying. So I wanted to make sure I enunciate and make sure she understands, like, because I wanted right. to hear my stuff, you know what I'm saying? My That's grandma's the worst thing. You don't want, like, everybody else can hear your music, but if, I mean, you don't, you ain't here to suffice your people, but, like, if that's the... If your people can't support you off of what, like, yo, yeah. go listen to my, you know, people because they can't understand it. Right, facts. It. But, like, right. that Sorry. that works for other rappers, though. Like, I'm saying, that yeah. it's not like I don't listen to rappers like that. True. Or something like that. Or it means that music not good or whatever. Because they music be bopping. It's for certain settings. You know and what I'm saying? what you want to do. Exactly. Not saying I won't say if a rapper came up to me, like, yo, I fuck with your music, hop on the beat with me. Right. Slay. For sure. Hey, do you do you have that mentality though? Um, maybe not with features you've done, but do you feel like bar for bar, like that's one thing, ain't nobody gonna mess with you on, or 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 you, I feel you like I just can, make the song. I feel like I can keep up. I feel like okay. I can keep up. I mean, like it take a everyday practitioner. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This is repetitive. It's repetition. So, I mean, like I feel like over time, like when I used to freestyle and stuff, I'm way better now. Way better. Like this past studio session, yep. told Melo I pulled up uh, where I pulled up Dead Presidents beat. I was okay. like, I want to do that. Came in there, I had like a little template. I probably had like four, six lines written out, and I just went crazy. I was like, I'm a freestyler. You went the rest. Yeah. Took off on them. King quotes in the building with us. This, that, and the third interview series. Where you get your name from? Were you always King quotes? Was it ever something else early? <laughs> I got so many aliases. Bro. Oh, word? <laughs> yeah. Put, uh, let the people know for the ones that's really yeah, been told. Yeah. Shout out my first college undergrad, North Carolina Western College. Everybody called me Big Fig out there. Big Fig. Yeah, Big Fig out okay. there. Okay. Uh, you seen State Property too? I seen it. But yeah. Okay. So, was Big Fig. So, so boom. <laughs> My man, we going back and forth in the locker room joking or whatever, and my boy Lon, uh, Lonnie Cabal, you can check out Lonnie, uh, Lonnie Cabal TV if y'all look okay. him up, bro. He's a comedian, he's funny as shit. Okay. Shout but, out to um, Lonnie. Yeah, this man was joning, bro. He turned around and said the name wrong. He said, you look like Big Fig off of State Property, too, but his name was Big Figgis. So <laughs> everybody, everybody in the locker room went crazy. Before I even got to correct him, the locker room was that's all shitting it took. On, yeah, yeah, shitting on me, bro. That's, that's all it took, you know. Freshman year, stuck with me all throughout college, and I was just, I just rolled with it. Yeah, big fig. Yeah. Okay, so you you jumped in the stool as big fig. Then what? Then what happened? What else? Any Shoot, uh, they call me Fat Fool on the side. You know, just yeah, it's just a random nickname. Back at home, they call me by my last name when I was playing football and stuff. What was your? Uh, what was your ball aspirations, your ball dreams? Did you think you was in the... Because sometimes, you know, once you go to college, yeah. you go to that next level. Like, yeah. to me, like, I'm going to be real. Like, I went to college, but I went D3, and I knew cool. I was undersized as a mug. So if I was going to make it, then God had it planned out for me already. W what was your thoughts? Did you think, you know what I'm saying, I, I was going to get to the league, you was, you was on the path, or was it like, let me start... Uh -huh delving into some other things like this music you know just in case you know to be honest I was like football wise like when I left I was really kind of like the oddball out with football mm. when I was in high school because I was so big but I didn't really had a lot of opportunities to get on the field as well like mm. my senior year I feel like that was my best year in high school and I played very well and I thought I could have went to a good college just off of my size and my play. Right. But it didn't work like that. And then, like, Sometimes money was late senior year yeah. by that point, too. Yeah. Money wise, I did have an email from Les Miles LSU, though. He told me okay. to go to Juco for two years, come back to him. But Miles was like, I ain't paying for that. So, yeah. like, yeah, she yeah, said, Juco, we go to Juco. That's two, and then maybe two, four, yeah. five. Yeah. But, like, yeah. this is how it was. Like, the money wasn't, you know, we, we had. We was good living, but like we ain't had money for like to just go to school without no scholarship and stuff. My I sister understand. went to school; she had a full scholarship and stuff. Okay. So she said, "Whoever wants you to come down there and play ball, and they so giving like us that money, that's where you're gonna go." Right. So right. that's how I really was. So North Carolina Wesleyan came up. We got some grants, got some money, went down there and played ball, man. And then at the time, I was young, so I didn't really know what was gonna happen. Of course, of course. I mean, I, like I said, they fo football drug me into, and it was. You know, one of them things where, like, I decided in college, like, yo, I'm, 
I'm more of a social person than an athlete at this time, so maybe I need to focus on that. Um, but but ultimately, being a, a ball player, a lot of those same attributes have to be taken over to what you're doing right now. Yeah, whether it's the discipline in the studio, whether that's working working with a teammate, realizing like everybody says like nobody can say they do this rap stuff alone because unless you engineer yourself, shoot your own videos yourself, right. uh, produce on your own beats. Put your own stuff on online uh, for your business and everything, which some people may do. But in reality, that takes teamwork too. Like, right. what's been the difference for you in this artist joint and an athlete? Is there a big difference for you? Uh, to be honest, bro, I take a lot of stuff that I use as an athlete and apply it to real life, man. It's the same thing. It's, it's crazy how, like, my coaches used to preach it. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Take take a breath, sit back because you ain't gonna have this all the time. Y'all ain't gonna have go to class and come to practice. Right, right. Kind of so he was like, so just appreciate what you have right now. And I ain't never really used to listen to my coaches because I used to hate going to practice. I used to hate doing all Somebody that. Tell you what to do. Yeah, I used to hate. I mean, college was definitely like, definitely like a good experience, and football was a hell of an experience. So anybody who's an athlete thinking about going to college or skipping out. Just take a chance if you want to go, go. Facts. You know what I'm Especially now you can get that sh money on the yeah. way in there. Yes, thing sir. Now, you know, yes, what I'm sir. It's a little different. Uh, can you quote some like some little facts that I found out about you? You chef. I am. I am. You're That's chef. what I do during the day. That's why y'all don't hear from me during the day. I be busy. <laughs> Yo, what is what is that chef life like? You know what I'm saying? You being able to is that something you put into the music too? You know, is that or is that just like a whole nother? Uh, you know, thing that you, a talent that you possess. I mean, yeah, you can say it's a talent I possess because I, I feel like I'm a damn ass good cook, but that's like a hobby I used to have. Like, mm. after I used to play football, I used to come in the kitchen with my grandma watching her cook because I always wanted to know how to cook. And then my uncle used to always tell me, don't learn how to cook because you don't want no woman trying to take care of you type that's deal. So. You got to know how to cook. And then, you know, as I was getting older, I always thought, like, money, people got to eat. You gotta eat, so I, it's always the money. So if anything happens, I can always fall back on that education where That's I can facts. go in there and like whip some shit up or work or do my own type of business. That's facts, man. Having having that having that in your pocket is good, but like you say, you turn it into a career. I got a homie that actually uh, shout out to my boy. Uh, he goes by wrist work, but he makes all music about chefing. Like he he's oh, a chef. Real? All his music <laughs> about the seasoning. The sauce, like that's cool. all of that. But that's, that's literally cool. all he rap about. And I'm like, he used to rap, but he like, I'm gonna just put the two two together, man. Like I can you know, yeah, see how it work out. But um if you wasn't rapping, you know, ultimately, if you wasn't trying to make this your career, would what would you be do you think you would just be being a chef? Do you think you would have dumped into something else? Cause this is what you wanna do, I'm sure. It's rap. Yeah, I definitely wanna be an artist, man. I definitely wanna be somewhere high, like on a pedestal, man. I want to be recognized. I want the greats to recognize my lines and stuff, man, because I work hard on them. And I be like, that's what I usually do when I get home from work. I'm writing. I'm in the crib writing. I don't like to be bothered. I don't like nobody calling my phone. I'm ready. I got so many songs just in, like I said, I got shoe boxes and notebooks. Yeah. It's just crazy. And I was just like, I need to, I'm putting so much time into it. I got to invest into it. You get your first mail off music. What's the first thing you're going to go get? First thing I'm gonna go get your first your first deal. It might not be. Hopefully, it's more than a man. Hopefully, you know, first deal <laughs> that come. Man, I don't know what to do with that money, man. I probably you know pay <laughs> some, pay my car off, get a credit. pay your car, get yeah. a new car. What you yeah, mean, I'll man? Pay the whip off. Okay. Get a crib, solidify, a little stand still on my feet, man. Get solidified, get some stuff done, man. Yeah, I, I can I can tell this. It when that come, that's gonna come. But you gonna rap regardless. You gonna do that because that's what you want. That's what you want to do. It's over. As soon as I said, as soon as I found out how to get the music out there to people, I said it's over. I'm always putting something out. It don't even matter. Name of the album. We got we got a title yet. We gonna give it to yeah, him. Yeah, man. It's gonna be called the smoothest tape alive, man. The smoothest tape. Smoothest tape alive. Alive. Okay. It's gonna be smooth for the melodic, man. It's gonna be for them car rides late night when you coming from the club. Y'all ready to go chill, man? Oh, throw that on, man. I'm interested to hear it. Um, 
Oh yeah, you know, Stevie, I got you. That's bro. what I'm saying. saying. You a couple exclusives, the... you know what I'm saying? I got a couple things done for you, bro. We, 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 can, we can sneak, you know, I don't mind leaking a couple. I be trying to tell artists, let me leak some ne shit. Never man. notice is already leaked out. I performed it a couple times already. Yeah, so. never noticed? Yeah, never noticed. That's going on, on the tape. Okay. Never noticed. Well, King that. Quotes in the building with his man, this, that, and the third interview series. Let him know where they can find you. King Quotes, three underscores on Twitter and Instagram. Snapchat is Fig. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Come check me out. My music is coming. I got quotes for OVO out right now. It's on SoundCloud. It's on Spinrella. Spinrella is free. Go check it out. Easy. Easy. Apple Music, iTunes, Pandora. I'm on everything else. I got songs out everywhere, and I got more coming for y'all, man. King quotes. Make sure you look them up. What we will do, we're going to leave them with a little piece of your performance because you did bless me with the 30 for 30. I appreciate you coming through. Of putting on uh for the fashion show so i want to show them a little bit of what you got you tapping in for that free 99 man free 99 hey man um that's gonna be dope man i'm i'm, I I'm excited you. for the audition bro i appreciate <laughs> artists like yourself um jumping in with me you know what i'm saying oh, yeah. allowing me to work to, to do what i can to help you do your part i'm glad we got this platform here and got you on here but um let's just keep going bro king mm -hmm. quotes is in the building smoothest tape alive is on the way Want to give a huge shout out to Montiago Visual Studios for housing the interview. Huge shout out to Creative Eye Visuals, TV LaFleur, TV Da Vinci behind the camera. Make sure y'all follow us at This, That, and the Third Interview Series for more interviews, clips, and freestyles. Make sure to give me a follow at Steven the Dream. That's S-T-E-P-H-E-N-T-H-A Dream. I am the voice of the Carolinas. It's King Quotes, This, That, and the Third. We'll see y'all next time. Next time.